Welcome to the upgrade tour for microsurvey layout 2. My name is Yi Fenxia and I am the mobile product manager for microsurvey. I want to take a few minutes of your time to go over some of the new features we have added in layout 2. One of the major features we have added is the support of video streaming for point scanning. Now with Leica MS50, you can visually define complex scan areas with ease using the two onboard cameras. The scan file can then be automatically transferred from the total station to local project folder and then exported into desktop product compatible format. Two new scanning methods are added in addition to the rectangular and polygon modes. You can now choose full dome which scans full field of views and partial dome which is very useful for scanning ceilings or floors. The stakeout or point layout routine has been greatly improved. In addition to the traditional map view, you can now use grid view or compass view. You can also select different viewing directions, and our new next point button provides you with a variety of options to select next point to layout or stake. Instrument reconnection has also been enhanced in the new version. You can now simply click the reconnect button to connect the device when program starts up, instrument resumes from hibernation or come back in range. If the always auto reconnect option is checked, the instrument will be automatically reconnected without user intervention. The project creation process has also been streamlined. Instead of going through multiple dialogues, we have saved all project settings in one centralized location and can be saved as default. This combined with instrument reconnection allows you to create a new project and go to map view with only two clicks and greatly improves work efficiency. The Bluetooth Manager allows you to save all of your Bluetooth enabled devices or instruments in one place and assign memorable names. They can be connected to in the future without having to search for them again. In addition, all of the profiles can be transferred to other data collectors by simply copying the settings XML file. Similarly, we have also added the Entrip Caster Manager. You can save all of your entry settings and switch between them without entering the settings again. All the entry profiles can be transferred to other data collectors by simply copying the same settings XML file. The new multiple backside routine allows you to combine multiple control points and to calculate the more precise backside orientation for your total station setup. For ASCII export routine, we have added an option for users to define custom formats can create and add each fields by choosing from the drop-down list. The number of fields available is unlimited. The next improvement is in the GNSS tolerance setting. When tolerance override settings checked, you can still save the GNSS point even when the tolerance limit is exceeded. In this case, warning icons will be displayed when storing points with inadequate status. Finally, we have also added supports for new instruments, data collectors, and coordinate systems. You can find details about this release in your release note, and the free demo version can be downloaded from our website with all the features enabled. There are many more exciting features planned for the future service packs, so please keep checking back with us. Thanks for watching.